According to the Kiambu Women Representative, the program will also promote education on food sustainability and supports area communities by making direct purchases of eggs from farmers. My work is to make sure that the sababu kuku zimeanza kutaga, iyo mayai nianza kuinunua, nianza kutafuta soko. Na soko ya kwanza ni kutafuta mashule ambazo watoto wanahitaji kusapotiwa na nutrition ni wapatie hiyo mayai. Maureen Wanjiru, an officer with Food for Education, says the initiative will supplement school meals and act as a safety net for pupils. So Food for Education has been providing food that is hot, nutritious meals for children in public schools since 2014 and we have come this far to 28,000 meals per day. And say thank you for what those people have done because there are some people here doesn't have even that, that egg to eat but you have provided to us. Elsewhere, parents and teachers of Shamoni Primary School in Malava constituency Kakamega have decried the deplorable state of the school. The parents say the 1,200 people school established in 1954 risks falling apart as classrooms, toilets and roofs becoming weak over time. They noted despite the eight classrooms put up by the CDF kitty this year, the school needs a facelift. Juicy, wakati shule jilikuwa nataka kufungwa, mwishmiwa, Moses, Maludu, Injendi, akakuja kwa emergency, akatuchengea matarasa matatu. Lakini, kuna matarasa mpae, yako karibu kwa mbuka, hata ukusimu uwa mbua, tunashindwa ni nini kitafanyika. The school community says the school is a disaster waiting to happen asking the government to come to the aid. Shule yetu karibu kuanguka. Kwa watoto wanapitia kwa matirisha na matirisha inapomoka. Sasa tunataka mutusaidie kuchenga iti shule, hii shule. Hata matarasa kama kumi. Yusufilo, Line Time News.